I'm here now on the campus of Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, and I kind of took a double take when I saw the um, tower back here. I, I thought that I was on my, my the campus of my alma mater, Dartmouth College, uh, with the tower in the back. It's very reminiscent. The architecture is very similar. Um, beautiful. Um, I want to make a quick comparison here. You know, Johns Hopkins is in Baltimore, and uh, there are many students who are looking for an urban campus. But I want to make a real big contrast here. Johns Hopkins is in Baltimore, but it's in a very beautiful park-like campus. And uh, the trees are gorgeous. The campus is actually just beautiful. Um, but if you compare that to the University of Pennsylvania, UPenn, um, you really feel the city. You feel the city of Philadelphia when you're on that campus. It's all around you. The, the other thing is that the architecture here really is gorgeous in terms of the the harmony and the, the buildings that are really spread out. UPenn is much more compact, much more um, eclectic in its architecture. Um, and the Wharton School of Business, I mean, really, let's be honest, it's a, just a big brick building. It's on a nice little walkway, but it's just a big, ugly building. Um, that is to say that you know what you're, what you're buying when you're buying a college education is not necessarily the architecture. Um, <laughs> It's really what goes on inside the buildings that count. But certainly when you're thinking about lifestyle and you're thinking, well, I'd like to be near an urban area or even in an urban area, there are two different ways uh, that can, or many different ways that an urban campus can manifest itself. It can be slightly suburban on the outskirts of the city. Um, it can be surrounded by the city, but then in a very beautiful park-like environment like this, or Fordham University is another one. Um, or it can be really very much a part of the urban landscape, like University of Pennsylvania, Boston University, um, uh, even uh, University of Southern California. So um, remember, as you're shopping for colleges, that the, 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 the zip code of the college um, doesn't necessarily tell you much about what the campus feels like when you get there in the kind of environment. I mean, with, with the possible exception that I could hear a siren in the distance here, you'd feel like you'd be on, you could feel like you're on the campus of Dartmouth um, in Hanover, New Hampshire. So there's really um, a huge variety of campuses on, in this country, and it, it, uh, it's important to not choose your college by zip code, but by the features that you're looking for in a campus.